of Orcas against Izmir, the girls from Turkey. And now we're going to see who is the second in the group B because right now Polisen has lost a game and has won a game and Vienna has lost a game and has won a game. So this match is going to define who is the second of the group and who is going to be playing Rixu next. Polisen lost against Bamberg and won against Zurich and Vienna lost against Bamberg and won against Zurich. Zurich so far has the fourth place in this group B. So we have now the start of the game and Polisen is already on the Austrian basket. And uh, they're trying to uh, define the game already, I believe. Um, they are um, two meters away from the basket, trying to build up the waves and going from right to left and trying to pull in and out with the ball. They are successful in doing that. I was a little bit pushed a little bit more away by one of the attackers of uh, the Austrian, but now we have, um, they're coming over the or try to come over the open uh, um, corner. Give me a second. Sorry, so here. Okay, guys, so uh, let's see. We are still under the basket of the Austrian team and uh, Polisen. Um, is coming always, uh, but uh, the defense of the Austrian actually, well, okay, now we are on the open side, but we always have some of the Austrian player hanging on to the ball of the attacker, making it very difficult to approach the goalie. Now coming over the close side, but the defender moved very good to the uh, left of the pool, and now the attacker is coming from the right, from the open side, just pull the goalie up, but... Um, he was pulled uh, also by one of the Austrians, so couldn't success in scoring. Now it's a one uh, Swedish guy against two of the Austrians defending. And uh, they continue now the attack over the close line, over the open side. They pass the ball very fast, are trying to push the goalie up, but they're being really tackled away from the Austrian. Now they lost the ball, and both defender and goalie just went up. But the Austrian, one of the Austrians recovered, lost it by the uh, second later. And now we're still um, seeing Sweden trying to get close, but not uh, being able to score. Nevertheless, they are doing quite a pressure. And the question is, again, for how long can Austria um, call the defense? And I'm not having, sadly... Um, tone from the uh, referee side so let's see now it's a free throw for Austria hopefully if they can be in ball control for a little bit longer they can give them some air to um, maybe recover because uh, if they have to be all the game in that position of, of being attacked like that probably they might uh, get a goal so let's see, they're coming now onto the Swedish corner, the close corner to start to build up uh, an attack, but the Swedish forechecken is quite active and already tackled the, the guy away. The goalkeeper got the ball and is swimming away and trying to start a counterattack, made a pass, the Austrian uh, intercepted. And now they're in the middle, but uh, Sweden is still on possession of the ball trying to move from the right to the left and on the surface and then continue with the counter-attack. There's already one position on the open side under the goal. He got the ball, just pull up and the defender of the Austrian got the ball. Amazing. Oh, that guy was holding onto the uh, head of the Austrian guy. That's normally <laughs> not allowed. Uh, was not directly, but a bit indirectly. You could see from here, from this angle. Anyway, Sweden just recovered the ball and is coming um, towards the basket and the defender made it just on time to defend uh, that angle but you have two white under the goalier and the one 
with the ball is being tackled away by the goalkeeper was not in position and now we have a score from Polis 1-0 for the Swedish team that has been uh, the dominating team in these uh, five minutes as we have of this game they have been attacking fierceless and uh, rentless and uh, Vien has done a great job defending but uh, it is really exhausting to keep up with that kind of pressure and chaos so the Swedish team really forced the mistake and well now Vienna needs to recover needs to be more in um, the possession of the ball control the ball and um, create a few waves of attack uh, so that that can maybe score but well they just lost the ball and we are in a counter-attack with three Swedish guys at the bottom of the pool the defender being in position and trying to grab the ball and pulling the ball away but oh well, what a pity he lost it and the, the Swedish guys just fish it from the water give it uh, to another uh, player and now um, they are coming again two against one defending and the goalkeeper uh, but uh, they are again the Austrians are doing a good job keeping the Swedish away mm. we have uh, over the open side which is not the safest because the new players are coming from this side and normally they can snatch the ball away now they're going out in the closer and safer corner of the left of the pool and trying to take speed up pushing maybe against the wall coming now from the middle and one is positioned under the goalie just got the ball and he's trying to push the goalie away but the goalie uh, could get into position and stop the score uh, the defender could snatch away the ball but the Swedish team is still in possession and is coming again on the third or fourth wave I'm not counting um, it's constant, it's constant, they're like torpedoes coming against the basket and the defense of the Austrian team. I, I get as exhausted from just looking at it. So let's see, they're coming two again and over the open side, being snatched away, tackled away, the next Swedish guy got the, grabbed the head or the neck of the goalie and score. And it was a good attack, it was not the head, it was the neck, the neck, sorry. And we have 2 0 for Polisen, and that score was done in the half of the time of the first goal. The first goal took them five minutes, now, two minutes and a half later, they have the second goal. So, that's the question is for how long can Vienna uh, um, support uh, or, um, yeah, that kind of, of pressure? It really is, is exhausting. So let's see, we are a little bit where on the half of the Swedish team, not for long, the Swedish team has the possession of the ball and is back into the attack under the goalie already trying to pull up the goalie but being tackled away by one of the defenders of the Austrian, the uh, ball fell down, is caught by the goalie that was trying to get to the surface, still goalie in possession, one defender one Swedish guy left, one right, one in the middle. The ball is being uh, hold in the right, in the left corner, the close corner, and now uh, goal is and defender is being attacked over the close corner. Um, now from the middle, they try trying to pass and keep the wave coming. They are now catching a breath, getting the ball and uh, just one Swedish player against three Austrians and now he managed to pass the ball the uh, next Swedish is on the goalie try to pull up doesn't matter there's defenders that they don't care they just go through and uh, to they're just constantly under the Austrian basket and okay that was holding no ball so now there's a free throw for the Austrians that can catch a breath a little bit hopefully they can stick to the ball a bit longer and try to attack but so far Polisen is winning 2-0 uh, they have been the dominant team we have been just in the basket of the Austrian team I mean the Austrian 
had barely made it uh, in close proximity of the Swedish goalie, but most of the time they tackle away, they lose the ball, and then this is the closest attack we have had. We have the Austrian is uh, touching <laughs> the Swedish goalie, and uh, what happened? Ah, sorry, the, the end of the... I was just <laughs> when Austrian getting out of the Swedish side, I'm like, okay, did you get hurt? But no, the time, I c since I cannot hear the referee mic microphones anymore, uh, I didn't hear the horn. So first time, first half time, and now three minutes break in between where they change sides. But um, it's very clear the Swedish team is dominating, is stronger. So I would dare to say, even if it's 10 more minutes um, to go, that uh, Polisen um, win. And if it's this is like this, then Polisen would be number two in the group, the Bamber, the leading team of the Group B. Then Vienna would be the third, and Zurich is in fourth place of Group B. Uh, in the group C, Flipper did the first place, Ege did the second, and Barcelona the third. And in the group D, Orcas uh, did the first place, Triton the second, and Perth Raiders the third place. So this is the last game. All the groups have now the leading uh, team that won the group, and then we start with the quarterfinals after this with the women. The Orca team is going to be playing against Izmir. And uh, I'm very much looking forward to, to this game and, and see. I mean, I think Orcas is a favorite, but the uh, Turkish girls have also uh, been playing a great game. So the two different uh, tactics there, and I like to see if the Turkish girls can break the flow and the speed of the Orca girls in, in that game. Very, very interesting game coming up. And after that, then that would be the, the number one of the group, uh, A, Riksu, will be meeting the second of the group, B, that in this case, if the game continues like this, is going to be Polisen. So let's see. A lot of games to come. 18, 17 games to go today. Hopefully I will have a voice at the end of the day. The ball in the middle, yes. Oh, okay. The okay, we have the microphone back from the referee, that's great. I have to admit I'm missing ball a little bit. It's so lonely here. All right, so second half, and the Swedish team dropped the ball and is on the half of the Austrians and right almost under the goalie. Um, the attacker with the ball has got tangled in the legs of the attacker, and there's one white waiting on the close corner, got the ball, now is trying to pull the goalie away. The goalie got the ball, great catch. Uh, pass it, oh, that got stuck in the thing of one of the players, that's a pity, that would have been a great pass to set a contra-attack for the Austrian guys, didn't happen, now we are in the close corner, and the Swedish guys are try and trying to build up the attack from there, they have two goals, so they can take their time and build up, and uh, now we have two from the close corner, the right side of the pool, and being snatched away, pulled away by the Austrian team. That now we have a fight fight in the surface, but police have recovered the ball. It's coming from the close corner. The defender is trying to stop the attacker. The guy on the open side got the ball, but the defender moved and uh, stopped him from scoring. And now. The goalkeeper is being almost pulled away, but uh, the defender also managed to stop the ball. And then the goalkeeper had the ball <laughs> from the attacker and is almost alone with two uh, Swedish guys. I mean, it's, it's so fast that I barely have time to talk. And that's a lot to say. So they're three meters away.
from the Austrians and trying to build the next wave, this wave after wave after wave, and the Austrians are doing a great job defending, really respect. Um, we have now uh, the uh, wave of the Swedish team continues and uh, now it's three Austrians against the two whites and that's the question now eventually <laughs> they have to breathe and then you have one or two just and I want to have three still the Austrian team is showing a very good condition they're holding really a lot of this pressure remember the first four it took police in five minutes now we are three minutes into the game and they are forcing the mistake as of the goal is they're pushing a lot and well it took them a little bit less than three minutes to score that goal there has been that ratio the ratio goal after for white the first number four. the first one was after five minutes and then the second was after two and a half three minutes and now three minutes into the second half we have the third score so let's see if they continue with this fresh pressure probably we have two more goals or so in the half of the Swedish team and the free throw for blue free throw for blue because apparently the policeman was grabbing the head that's also a no go we're trying to protect the head and the neck of the player for these rules and now we have the attack let's see if they can take advantage of this free throw but the policing guys already on to the one that got the ball that is a cluster there the ball fell and the Swedish team continue the possession of the ball but uh, the Austrian did a great job intercepting that pass and um, the goalkeeper now got it and is trying to swim away pass it and successfully manage to give the ball away now we are back on the Austrian side from the close side uh, the policing guide is just pushing hard against the back of the goalie of the Austrian that has a little bit of the shoulder inside I have to say uh, let's see can the next guy from Sweden continues and pull up uh, the goalie and uh, they continue in possession of the ball they're coming back for the next wave and they're coming the pass or the, they came from the close and tried to the pass to the, to the bottom but it was not possible so now we're fighting in the surface I can't see and the ball, the ball fell, the Austrians got it and trying to the counter We have three guys of Sweden blocking them and uh, they recover the ball now and trying to return into position under the goalie of Vienna. So let's see, we are in the close corner, the Austrian is trying to get the ball from the attacker and uh, the Swedish team is uh, coming for another time and another go on the goalie from above we have another guy on the open side waiting for the ball from above but the ball is still a bit farther away because Austrians were blocking and defending fierceless now two against two and Sweden still don't lose the ball and still continues with the attack here we go pass to the next Swedish guy and uh, now try to attack from above and is tackled away well uh, every attacker is really being attacked by one of the Austrians and uh, defending that's really uh, amazing uh, performance from the Austrians I mean this pressure is uh, so far five minutes are gone and they have been able to stop the Swedish from scoring another so it's really great job great great job
We have now uh, the Swedish guy trying to recover the ball from the defender, successfully doing it, passing it away. Then the next attacker is coming from above, pull the goalie again, and there you go. The fourth goal for Polisen. Okay. So just less than three minutes to go. Go for white, number one, number and time out blue. Number one score. Time out blue. Polisen, thank you. Time out blue and Polisen reading where is do 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 do. here Peter Aronson. Yes, I mean this can be those uh, Sweden and uh, Norwegian names are a bit easier for me than the Turkish. Sorry, Levent. Last night I didn't have time to practice. Oh, yes, I have to stress. <laughs> Remember to come by and get these great t-shirts that we got signed by Wasabro. There's limited edition, there are not many of them, so get one today. Don't wait until tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Beautiful t-shirts. So. Time out. So, very good. Get ready. Five, three, two. Zero. Now we have to continue for the last um, two and a half. Minutes of game. Now let's see if Polisen can achieve another goal. So we are back in the half of the Austrian team and something happened. Free throw for Austria. Free throw for Blue. Because holding. Because okay. of holding. Time out White. Time, Time out. out White. Time out White. Time out for Polisen. Okay, that's funny. Yep. It's just you begin. two minutes away from the end of the game. The tension of everyone, because now we have a couple of blue yeah. guys over yeah. there. You're right. Yes. <laughs> Bitte? No, I'm white yet. No, it's the second. The blue one ahead and the white one. I give them, oh, I gave them five seconds more because they were late. Yes. All right. Well, eight seconds left from the. Five seconds more. We have no five seconds more. They have five seconds. Because the blue ones have not got it yet. They are up there. Yes. Because some of the players were late, apparently. Okay. So, let's see. Free throw blue. Free throw blue and uh, less than two minutes to go. And the Austrian has tried an attempt of an attack. Let's see, they're now in the close corner trying to get close to the passage. But this is a wide wall right there in front of their faces. And uh, they pull away to the surface and they lost the ball or it looks like they're about to lose it or no, there they are. Um, let's see, uh, just the one guy alone and uh, pass it to the partner, pass it almost to the next but it got tangled into the fingers of the Swedish player and now we have Try an attack from the corner and the last minute, but uh, Sweden is really making it difficult for them uh, to get closer than three meters. I mean, they just barely touched the goal in this game, maybe twice. So they well deserve uh, winning for Polisen. They really have been dominating. We have been 90% of the time, if not 95% of the time, under the goalie of the 
Austrian team and the last 15 seconds Austria recovered the ball there's one player that had oh that's a pity he had stole the basket and uh, he didn't miss the pass of uh, this player and now we are in the middle and now that's it that's the end of the game zero for Vienna four for police and that makes Polisen with seven points, the second of the group, and Vienna with five, the third. So that means that Polisen will be meeting Rixu after the next game, which is 